What's up, friends? My name is Kevin Bisset, singer, songwriter, producer, and Taylor Swift fan. I'm just really into her songwriting. I think she's one of the best pop songwriters ever. She's put out so many great songs, and some of them are hits, some of them aren't, but the storytelling is always phenomenal. Favorite albums by Taylor Swift are 1989, Folklore, and Fearless. 1989 is, you know, perfect pop album. Folklore is this somewhat lighthearted, though introspective folk pop album you know fearless is just a classic really great fusion of country and pop i love her emo lyricism the way she you know really expresses herself and i think she's just phenomenal apparently there's been some sort of feud taylor swift and kanye west and kind of their their camps i don't know much about it i think it's fairly recent i don't know I haven't I haven't really paid attention. Apparently Kanye released a new album, Donda, and it's getting a lot of hype. I've seen it all over, you know, media. And so I thought, hey, let's check it out. Let's see what's up with this. We're gonna listen to five songs from Donda, just the first five on this list. See what they're about. This first one is called Hurricane, and I think this is the one with the weekend and Lil Baby. Let's check it out. Let's check out what Kanye West has to offer. A little nervous. Hurricane. Lightning strikes the beach. Mm. That percussion in this song is so cool. I like that super subby bass. And the weekend's voice is just oh, so good. That choral part is awesome. Wow. Don't let me drown. Powerful stuff. It's like a dryer trap. I, know you I, know that you love I love how they bring in that melody there. Actually, I know you won't. Oh. The organ is so cool. What the? I was up so Man, that those lyrics are so emotional. So it's like great flow, but still heart. But I don't judge Reynolds. Heartfelt. Mm -mm. It was all so simple. I see you in Man, Kanye's verse was great. His voice sounds so cool and for me. so heartfelt, so emotional, so like but spiritual. I know yeah. you're watching me. Oh. Man, that was crazy how like spiritually powerful that song was. Also, just the, the lyrics Kanye put out were emotional. Vocals from The Weeknd were on point. So, so good. The melodies were awesome. This little baby. Sounded good. You don't expect this kind of stuff from someone like Kanye, but that was awesome. It was really heartfelt, really cool. I'm impressed. He's killing it so far. Ah, it's crazy how impactful that is, you know? A lot of pain. A lot of pain going on. Let's check out Jail. I bet Jail has even more pain. Named Jail. Let's see. Let's see. Oh. It's very industrial. The drums haven't come in yet, but it's like just so rhythmic and so catchy. It's so cool how he... Whoa, man. It's just so catchy. It's so interesting how he can change up the melodies and have modulations that are just so catchy. It, like, subverts expectations. It seems repetitive, and then it changes. So many felonies. I like how rhythmic Jay-Z's breaths are. Man, what talk about incredible. That song's phenomenal. I love how many hooks there are. It's just constant catchiness. You know, there's like not a point in the song where I'm like, oh, this isn't really, really catchy. The instrumental lines are very catchy. Like, dun, 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 dun. It's all rhythmic, you know? Then there's just these really cool melody variations in the verses and choruses and pre-chorus. I like the I'll be honest, we all liars. I'll be honest, we all liars. That's great and some really cool harmonies going on. Yeah, it's just, a, it's just a barrage of greatness, honestly. It's mad how rhythmic and groovy that song is without having drums until this very end section. It seems like it could, shouldn't be possible, but it, it's done, and so it must be. It's so experimental and it's so interesting and new. And I guess Kanye can sing like anyone, because that was awesome singing, and it was emotional and fiery and concerned but also free 
It's the most free I think you can make the words. Guess who's going to jail tonight? It's almost like he knew he was going to jail, but he's all right with it because he's going to escape. Got to keep checking him out. Off the grid. Whoa. I love the chaos of all these vocals in this Playboy verse. I like the hawk going, it's cool. That Fivio foreign part is so just like moving. And every time I hear this chorus, like I expected it to get more annoying and instead it's getting more interesting. I think it's the way it plays with the production and the percussion. Interesting, interesting, interesting. The production was probably my favorite part of it. It was interesting because I didn't expect that chorus to catch on with me, but as the production filled it out, it just sounded better and better, which was remarkable because hearing it the first time, I was like, I'm going to hate this chorus. Then as it kept going, I was like, oh, I actually really like this. Kanye's verse was very clear. I like his clarity as a rapper. And I liked the part when the production dropped out. It was just his vocals and then... When it came back in, uh, with that money never neglect me, everyone sounded good on it. I honestly think Kanye might have sounded best on it. I just think it's because his clarity. He's got so much clarity and catchiness in his vocal. Pleasantly surprised by that one. Praise God. A lot of this seems to be about Jesus and God and spirituality. Cool stuff. I like that switch. I serve I like that. Ha ha! Yeah, that's cool. See with new sight. The vocals sound really cool there. Oh, it switched to an organ. That's cool. I like that. Yeah, there was a lot of cool things going on production wise, but probably my least favorite songs of these four I've heard so far. The other three were just. Phenomenal. Just really great stuff going on. And this one, there was really interesting stuff going on production-wise. And the way that the vocals switched with the organs. And the way that kind of like an undertone vocal near the beginning there. I like the introduction. I don't know exactly what's going on there. It sounded like some woman reading a poem. Nice. Very nice still. Cool. Yeah. I let's check out the last one, I guess. Moon is the the fifth one I'll listen to. I like how the melody is kind of reminiscent of Hurricane. And the voice is beautiful. This uh Don Tolliver. Sounds awesome. Makes me want to check out more of his stuff. I really like the way that the horns and electric guitars played off of each other. That was really cool. And then I also loved that kind of end section. Well, right before the end section when all the vocals were there. You had Kanye, Kid Cudi, and this Don guy, Tolly Ver. Don Tolly Ver. Who, he sounded awesome. And all the vocals sounded really good. Like, just really great singing throughout it. It wasn't really like a Kanye track, it felt like, just because there were so many other people singing on it. So I'm sure he headed it up and had something to do with it, I guess. Kanye sounds awesome. I'm interested in how how his stuff sounds. I'd love to I'd love to hear any comments of other things you think I should check out by Mr. Kanye West here. I think he's got some great stuff going on. Great rhythm, great sense of melodies and catchiness and intrigue, doing really experimental, interesting things in terms of production, in terms of scope, in terms of vocals. There are switches and flows and rhythms that are unexpected. I didn't expect that last track to be just a song. You know, it's not a rap piece at all. It's just this kind of beautiful song about the moon. Incredible stuff. Something about that moon song is just transcendent. You know, just like bringing me to a higher level. I've got a new album coming out October 5th. It's called Giovanni. I hope you guys will all check it out i think it's a great piece of music only seven songs long so nothing like the 27 song long donda make sure to like comment share subscribe catch you guys on the flip he's done miracles on me